All right, right now that piezo is just about ready to pull and touch the uh, very highly positively charged disc here. Uh, right now I have the piezo going. Turn that all the way down so you can hear it. Like it's enough to even make the, uh, the big disc swing. Can't really hold it steady enough, but it's about ready to touch there any second. It seems like, it feels like. Let's increase the frequency. like bumping into like this electrostatic wall on the disc. Now it's slowing down, maybe because it transferred some charge when it got close enough. But now that I've increased the frequency, it's really pushing it. Keep increasing the frequency. See what happens. Oh, now it just stopped. Now it's going again. Increasing frequency. Right now my static meter just auto turned off, but it was sitting at about plus, oh, there, there. All right, can I turn this on again? There you go. So static meter is reading three and a half. Keep increasing frequency on here. No. Keep increasing frequency. Increase frequency. Increasing frequency. Okay, it looks like I am. Oh, looks like I am sitting at. Okay, I've already passed the midpoint on the potentiometer. So now, as I turn it up, we're going to be decreasing frequency, increasing amplitude. It is really making that big disc swing around. Oh. You can kind of see the piezo is a little bit off canter, but it's the best I can do. All right, let's keep going. All right, there's an audible frequency, but we're actually just around the midpoint. Oh, zippy zap, zippy zap. Man, the, uh, the big disc is really rotated. I'm gonna try pushing the button. You can watch this when I push the button. Oh, I gotta wait until it's steady again. Right. Sounds like the buzzer's giving up the ghost. Is it gonna pull it again? I'm not changing anything at the moment, letting it steady.
That was right when I pushed the button, it did that. I think when I push the button, it like releases the static charge that has built up on the piezo because I've observed it on here. When I push the button, I'll see this go positive about a, a couple hundred volts positive. And then when I had the negative attached to this big disc, um, it would lose a little bit of its negative. It would go down a couple hundred volts. So it'd be at like negative two kV and then it'd go down to like negative 1.6 or negative 1.7 kV when I push the button. There. When I push the button, it seems like it pulls it closer. It's like it's grounding out the, uh, the piezo. And so makes it easier for the piezo to get attracted. Holding down the button. There we go. Now we're going to let that build up a little bit, and then I'm going to push the button again. I'm going to push it when it's far away. Yeah, I think you got to have a certain amount of static charge built up on the big disc and a certain amount of static charge built up on the piezo, and then when you push the button on the piezo, it's like, I don't know. There you go. Keep that on a little bit longer. It's already getting longer than I wanted it to be, but. It seems like frequency does have some kind of effect on this charge differential between the two. Changing frequency totally seems like it does change the electrostatic between the two of them. But it's it seems to be only when I'm actually changing the frequency. Yeah. It's weird. All right, that's what I got for now.